Paris, La Ville Lumière, a city of rich history, culture, art, and exactly where a great year studying abroad on the Erasmus program could be spent. Oh, hi! Hi, um, how are you guys? Yeah, no, it's fine. I thought that would be me as well, but, but it's not. I'm here in Sheffield. Don't get me wrong, I love Sheffield. I love the city, the university, my course. The, lo the locals Let's see but I can't lie and say that I haven't been disappointed by the way this year has panned out disappointed in the changing course of my career plans my life plans and I have no doubts that many of you can relate to that feeling too it can honestly be quite demoralizing feeling as though you're not in control of your future however I have managed to find solace recently in focusing on the things that I can control Taking control, for instance, of how I make the most out of my final year here at the University of Sheffield. And so I really do think that I could play a role in making sure that the SU plays a key role in propelling you towards achieving your full academic potential and in, in turn, taking back control of your future. The pandemic has not only presented new challenges that we'll need to tackle, but also exposed problems that already existed and are now being exposed, if anything, exacerbated. Over the years, the SU has opened up so many opportunities for me. As a fresher, I managed to be voted in as a Students' Union BME councillor and as an NUS delegate. In my second year, I was African Caribbean Society president, as well as sitting on the BME committee as inclusions officer. And essentially, I've managed to learn quite a bit about how the SU and the university work. If you vote for me, you'll be voting for... One lecturer told me to use subheadings, and the other lecturer said subheadings are childish. I'm so confused. Fair, consistent and holistic marking. The pandemic has revealed that despite some efforts to make marking fairer, such as the introduction of the safety net policy last year, there are still issues with consistency in marking across all departments. We need a clear consensus to be established among staff within each department so we can fully understand what they expect from us. With already so much pressure to perform well academically, modules that determine grades by a single assessment need to find a much fairer and considered way to assess students during this time. We also need more flexible extension options, where students are not just left with the choice of either a standard extension or deferral, and where not just help, but a lack of access to resources is considered. Value for money education. University fees are not cheap, especially for international students and now future EU students who due to Britain's exit from the EU will be paying the same extortionate tuition fees as our fellow students. We as students deserve good value for money education so there's a zero tolerance on recycled or low quality online lectures. This has clearly been a big shift for staff too, so better IT training and assistance in each department could help with minimising technical difficulties that compromise our learning experience. You'd also be voting for the eradication of digital poverty and exclusion. Having a basic Wi-Fi connection as a student is a necessity. It may have not been clear before, but it certainly has become clear now. A policy is needed to address the need for better advertisement and to hold landlords to account who fail to provide adequate Wi-Fi. No need for frustration for what's sad for education. This would alleviate stress for many students at an already difficult time and of course allow them to literally be able to access their degree. The SU could consider looking to partner with broadband providers to create cheap Wi-Fi options for us as students. And finally, we need better exposure too, and then assistance with the process of obtaining funding for learning and digital resources. Students were left disappointed, unable to enjoy placements or study abroad opportunities this year, majorly impacting career plans for many. With the added disappointment of programmes such as Erasmus no longer existing, we need to ensure that opportunities such as the new tutoring scheme are not only accessible, but have much better staff support and guidance for students so that no student feels alone again as many have felt this year. 
Volunteering opportunities too can be creatively renovated and made COVID safe. We may even find that more students will have the time to volunteer online for instance with travel costs not being involved. Despite the apparent obstacles that Brexit and COVID present, we should be able to access and enjoy opportunities that enrich our university experience and therefore widen our prospects. How was you do? It was alright. Can you believe another staff member confused us to be the same person? Again. Student inclusion committees. Now, considering every policy mentions, there are groups of students that are disproportionately impacted by these concerns. Last summer, Savannah and I, along with a couple of other students, helped with the setting up of an inclusions committee in the politics department, which has worked really well so far, and we believe could be extrapolated across every department. This committee would be concerned especially with uplifting the voices of Black, Asian and minority ethnic, LGBTQ+, international, mature, disabled and SEN students. Also, students that have struggled with the likes of depression and anxiety can also provide insights into how departments can better consider their needs. It would be a here accredited role where students that are interested in contributing to make our learning more inclusive and decolonised can volunteer. Thank you. So, those are the five areas that I plan to focus on if I were voted in as education officer. I'm also interested in increasing engagement with students, especially those who aren't too sure still what officers can actually do for them. And any policies implemented, sustainability and the well-being of the environment will be considered throughout. So let's take back control of our futures together. And if you like what you're hearing, what you're seeing, what you might be getting, you know what to do. Vote SAB for education. Vote SAB for education. Vote SAB for education. Vote SAB for education. Woo! Vote SAB for education. Vote SAB for education. Vote SAB for education. Vote SAB for education. Vote SAB for education.